नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं डॉक्टर सुरेश कुमार आपका केमिस्ट्री टीचर आज हम डी डॉगली इक्वेशन डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं यू नो इन 1905 आइंस्टाइन हैड सजेस्टेड द लाइट हैज ड्यूअल नेचर मींस लाइट कैन बिहेव एज पार्टिकल एज वेल एज वेव ऑन द सेम लाइन डी डॉगली इन 1924 इन हिज थीसिस प्रपोज्ड दैट जस्ट लाइक लाइट पार्टिकल ऑल्सो हैज ड्यूअल बिहेवियर दैट मीन्स पार्टिकल कैन ऑल्सो पजेस बोथ कैरेक्टर्स मीन्स पार्टिकल कैरेक्टर एज वेल एज वेव नेचर एंड दिस पोजल लीड्स टू अ न्यू थियोरी दैट इज कॉल्ड क्वांटम मैकेनिकल थियोरी ऑफ मैटर मीन्स like electron proton atoms all subatomic particles or microscopic particles when in motion they possess wave nature means wave is associated with these particles and de broglie went further and even calculated the de broglie wavelength de broglie proposed this equation to calculate wavelength of the wave associated with the particle in motion that is lambda equal to h upon m v h is planck's constant m is mass of the particle v is speed of the particle and this planck's constant is 6. Six to six into ten raised power minus thirty four joule second, and the wave associated with the matter, the wave associated with the particle is known as matter wave or de Broglie wave, and this equation can be derived from Planck's quantum theory and Einstein mass energy relationship, and that is as follows. this two relations first e equal to h nu that is according to planck's that is planck's equation e equal to h nu and you know nu is c over lambda so e equal to h c over lambda as per planck's equation and he also used einstein mass energy relationship that is e equal to mc square m is mass of the photon and c is the speed now because both gives energy so if we equate these equations from 1 and 2 h c over lambda equal to m c square c cancel that implies h upon lambda is equal to m c this lambda becomes equal to h upon m c so if we replace m that is the mass of the photon by mass of the particle and c speed of light by speed of the particle the same equation becomes h upon mv and de broglie proposed that this equation might be used to calculate wavelength associated with the particle it further can be written as h upon p because mass of the particle into speed of the particle velocity of the particle m into v is momentum p is momentum
momentum of the particle now if mass of the particle is large is for macroscopic particle mass is large so lambda becomes too small to be measured means lambda ki value itni kam ho jayegi ki hum usko measure nahi kar sakte that's why this de broglie equation has no significance for macroscopic objects it is significant only for microscopic object because their wavelength wavelength associated with microscopic particle is measurable so keep in mind de broglie equation is significant only for microscopic objects like electrons protons neutrons even atoms alpha particles right now to go further you know this m into v can be related to kinetic energy this is the basic form of de broglie equation now you know kinetic energy that is equal to half mv square that implies m into v square equal to 2 into kinetic energy and if we multiply both sides with m so it becomes m square v square because m into m and this side becomes 2 into m into kinetic energy 2 into m into kinetic energy that implies m into v is equal to square root of 2 into m into kinetic energy so in this way lambda is equal to h upon 2 into m into kinetic energy so if kinetic energy is given there is no need to calculate velocity first just put the value of kinetic energy here and mass of the particle now this equation is further modified by davison and german you know who were they they were the one who verified that particle has wave character what they did they took nickel crystal strike the electrons emitted by the tungsten filament on them and studied the diffraction pattern and they compared the diffraction pattern of electrons with the diffraction pattern of x rays both are comparable both are almost same so they concluded that electron has wave character means they were the one who verified the hypothesis of de broglie davison and german so davison and german modified this equation what they did that if electron is accelerated by a potential difference of b electron is accelerated through a potential difference of v you know electron take charge on the electron as charge on the electron as e and potential difference as v then kinetic energy becomes equal to e into v charge on the electron and potential difference product of these becomes coulomb volt that is joule 
सो काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज चार्ज ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज एच अपॉन स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ टू इंटू एम इंटू ए इंटू बी so e is a charge on the electron if g e is replaced by q charge on any particle so it becomes h upon square root of 2 m q into v so this equation can be applied to any charged particle when that charged particle is accelerated to a potential difference of v so this is the first basic equation this is in terms of kinetic energy and this is in terms of potential difference that means if we know the mass of the particle h is already known to us that is planck's constant q charge on the particle v is potential difference so you know for electron we know charge we know mass we know planck's constant for proton even we know the mass we know the charge so for them we can directly remember the values so that if potential difference is given for them we can calculate easily and can be used for competitive purpose now for electron you know charge magnitude of the charge on the electron is 1.602 into 10 raise per minus 19 coulomb minus but magnitude of charge is this one and what about mass of the electron it is 9.11 into 10 raise per minus 31 kg h is planck's constant and its value is 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second so if we put these values then lambda is equal to 12.27 by under root v and so Now for proton, you know, charge magnitude of the charge is same, Planck's constant is same, mass of the proton is around about one point seven six two into ten raised to the power minus twenty seven kg. So if we calculate. Lambda comes out to be zero point two eight six by under root b angstrom. Alpha particle charge on the alpha particle is two units two into one point six into ten raised to the power minus nineteen coulomb and mass of the alpha particle is four units four into 1.67 into 10 raised to power minus 27 kg. So this is mass of the alpha particle. This is charge of the alpha particle. So by using the values, it comes out to be 0.101 divided by under root v angstrom. So this is for electron. Proton and for 